Thanks for tuning in, this is the Life of Miner, and in this video I'm going to share the hash rates power drawn overclocks mining Ethereum on my ARX 5700 XT, so let's check this out. Okay, so I'm going to share my results mining Ethereum on my ARX 5700 XT, and I do own the 50th anniversary edition. So the new AMD driver was released. It is called Adrenaline 2019 Edition 19.9.1 and it was released on September 4th of 2019. And because of this driver, I'm able to mine Ethereum efficiently. Okay, so this is my test bench. And as you can see, it does idle around 40 watts. So now using Claymore Miner version 15.0 on stock settings, I was averaging around 49.68 mega hashes but my GPU itself was only consuming around 240 watts. And this is pretty much the settings for stock settings. The core is at 2100, voltage is at 1195, memory at 875, and the power limit at zero. Now increasing the memory at 910 and keeping the miner stable, I was averaging around 51.72 mega hashes, and my GPU itself was consuming around 240 watts. And basically all I did was increase the memory to 910. Now I do want to mention increasing the memory higher than 910, the miner would crash after about 30 to 45 minutes. So now for the best efficiency hash rate, I was averaging around 51.11 mega hashes, but my GPU itself was only consuming around 125 watts. And for the best efficiency settings, I put the core at 1300, voltage at 750, memory at 910, and the power limit at zero. Now, because mining Ethereum is more memory intensive instead of core intensive, basically what you want to do is drop the core as much as possible without affecting the hash rate too much, and then drop the voltage as much as possible without affecting the hash rate too much. So now if you did want to compare using Phoenix Miner version 4.5C and using the best efficiency settings, I was averaging around 51.11 mega hashes, and my GPU itself was only consuming around 125 watts. So that being said, your hash rates are pretty much the same using either Phoenix Miner or Claymore Miner. Okay, so now if you didn't want to compare the ARX 5700 XT to other graphics cards mining Ethereum, it's definitely better than a Vega 64. It's worse than a Radeon 7. But it's pretty much in par with an RTX 2080 Ti. Alright, so thanks for checking out my mining results mining Ethereum on my RX 5700 XT. And since the new drivers did come out, I'm going to do more testings and definitely share the results, so stay tuned. And I do also want to mention that other YouTubers like Red Panda Mining and Crypto Nuff or Nuff P, I think that's how you pronounce it, shared their mining results mining Ethereum on their RX 5700 XT. And they pretty much got the same or very similar results as I did as well. So definitely check out their videos and I'll have a link to their channel in the description. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it, sub if you're excited to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining.